Good evening class and welcome to lesson 10.6, problem solving using customary and metric conversions. Let's begin by taking a look at our essential question. How can you use the strategy make a table to help you solve problems about customary and metric conversions? Well, let's begin by reading our word problem. So, Aaron is making fruit punch for a family reunion. He needs to make 120 cups of punch. If he wants to store the fruit punch in gallon containers, how many gallon containers will Aaron need? So we're going to use the graphic organizer below to help us solve the problem. So with the graphic organizer along with the conversion table. So we've read the problem. Now let's begin with step one. What do I need to find? I need to find and that's going to be how many gallon containers will Aaron need? So to repeat, I need to find how many gallon containers can be filled with 120 cups of punch. So next we're going to look at what information do I need to use? So I need to use the number of cups being made and the number of cups in one gallon. So then how will I use the information? I will make a table to show the relationship between the number of cups and the number of gallons. So there are 16 cups because one cup equals one sixteenth of a gallon. So we know that there are 16 cups in one gallon. So there are 16 cups in one gallon. So each cup is one sixteenth of a gallon. So now we're going to use that information to complete this table. So across the top we have our cups and across the bottom we have our gallons. So for one cup, that is one sixteenth of a gallon. Two cups is one eighth or two sixteenths of a gallon. Two sixteenths being simplified down to one eighth. Three cups is three sixteenths of a gallon. Four cups is four sixteenths or that is simplified to one fourth. So 120 cups, if we continued it on out, would equal because we would then be multiplying by one sixteenth. So 120 multiplied by one sixteenth is going to give us seven and one half gallons. So Aaron needs eight because we have to round up because we don't have a half gallon container to fill it. It wants to know how many gallon containers will he need. So we have to round up since we would be filling one half of a gallon container. So Aaron needs eight gallon containers to sort the punch. Now, the next section says, will all of the gallon containers Aaron uses be filled to capacity? And the answer to that is going to be no. And the reason for that, when we look up here, we see that 120 cups equals 7.5 gallons. But when it asks how many gallon containers will we need, we have to round up to 8 gallon containers, which means that only one or the last container is only going to be half full of punch. Now, let's try another problem while we're on this. Okay, let's begin by reading the problem. So, it starts with Sharon is working on a project for art class. She needs to cut strips of wood that are each one decimeter long to complete the project. If Sharon has seven strips of wood that are each one meter long, how many one decimeter strips can she cut? So, we need to begin with finding out what do I need to find? Well, I need to find how many one decimeter lengths of wood Sharon can cut. So what information do I need to use? Well, we have to look back up here and find our key information. And we know that we, I need to use 
I need to use the number of meter strips Sharon has and the number of decimeters in one meters. So, how will I use this information? Well, I will make a table to show the relationship between the number of meters and the number of decimeters. So, we are going to solve the problem. So, you should have built a table where the top of it is going to be one meter and the bottom row would be one decimeter. So let's do that. We are going to have meter and decimeter. And that's going to be our table. Well, since one meter is equal to 10 decimeters, I can make a table to show the relationship between meters and decimeters. I can use the table to find the number of one decimeter strips Sharon can cut. So at the top, our first row is meters, our second row is decimeters. So we know that if we have one meter, we have 10 decimeters. Two meters is going to be 20 decimeters. Three meters, 30 decimeters. Four meters, 40 decimeters. And if we jump all the way up, continuing the pattern with seven meters, multiplied by 10, we know that there will be 70 decimeters. So Sharon can cut 70 one decimeter lengths to complete the project. So our last question, what relationship did the table you made show? Well, the table shows the relationship between meters and decimeters. One meter equals 10 decimeters. So now let's take a look at tonight's password. A dairy cow drank 36 gallons of water in a day. At that rate, how many quarts did the cow drink in one hour? Now the very first thing you have to keep in mind is how many hours are there in a day? So is the answer A, 6 quarts, B, 12 quarts, C, 144 quarts, or D, 216 quarts? Be sure to work this problem out, record it in your math journal, and bring it with you to class tomorrow. We'll see you then.